The vacant trailers covered by graffiti sitting across from Cleveland State University, and there's concern about what's inside the semis. We wanted to know what's in them, so News Channel 5's Paul Kiska went digging for more information. And Paul, these semis have been there for more than a decade? Yeah, maybe more than 15 years. There's downtown Cleveland, just feet behind me, the Chester on ramp to I 90, the expanding CSU campus across the street. Then there's this the mystery of the vacant, abandoned, graffiti stained trailers that thousands of people have to drive and walk by each and every day. Look at these graffiti stained trailers left on this lot at East 27th and Chester for so many years. Trees have grown up around and over them. CSU students and workers who park nearby told me the trailers look abandoned and make them feel uneasy. It looks really unsafe, actually. David Roos, a green space expert, estimated the trailers seen here on Google Earth have been here probably 15 years or so. Some students revealed to me they believe somebody is living in one of the trailers. Looks like somebody made a makeshift door. Bruce says they're right. Yeah, somebody's been living in here. Look inside of this trailer. It's filled with clothes, duffel bags, a mattress nearby, and that's not all. They've got a toilet sitting back there, which possibly is used. After we started investigating who owned this property, Sergeant Andy Ezzo with the Cleveland Police Environmental Crimes Task Force showed up. He met with a worker from a parking lot company that owns the land. After what his team saw here today, Sergeant Ezzo hopes for what he calls a resolution, which includes... Get rid of these trailers, clean it up, or whatever the case may be, because the students from Cleveland State walk this area. They're getting a little disturbed by they don't know who may be in the trailer.